Girl Tribe Gaming Podcast on My City Podcast on Hello and welcome to Girl Tribe Gaming, a podcast mostly about video games. I'm Zen. And I'm Jen. Welcome to episode 10. Wow, Zen, can you believe 10 already? No, I feel like this would be like a, a, a huge achievement. It would, you know, we it got would. achievements in life, you know. I know. I, I wish I could get an Xbox achievement for that. Yeah. Okay. Yay, so- little congratulations to us. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay us. <laughs> so Zen, what are you up to this afternoon? Aside from um, this? Well, uh I'm drinking a beer. That's a big surprise, but well, I am drinking like one of my all time favorite beers. Yeah. It's um it's a company called uh Pyramid and it's an apricot ale. Oh. It is so, it's delicious. You That's what that is what I am doing tonight. Recording a podcast and drinking apricot ale. Huh. You know, Maybe I should start, like, drinking gluten-free beers while we record. You should. Although, you know I'm a lightweight. I'd have to be really careful. It'd be great. It could be a special (laughs) episode. How quick can Jen get drunk off of one beer? Yeah. Well, (laughs) first off, Zen, I think we should talk about our new news. Yay. Yeah. So, uh, we are now... we. We have a new partnership with Isolation Empire, and they are a premium esports organization, um, and they're dedicated to helping the gaming community by giving back the power to gamers. They're all about gamers. And, um, you know, we just got this started, um, but definitely I would like you guys to check out their website. It's isolationempire.com. And then um, you can follow them on Twitter at Isolation Empire, all one word. Yeah, and I just want to thank those guys, and for they found us and had some kind words to say about the Girl Tribe community. Yeah, so they're very supportive. So big thank you to them, guys. Yeah. Yep. I'm very excited to see where things go. Yeah. So, okay. Serious stuff talk here. Mm-hmm. We are okay. serious people. Yeah. I got to know what... I think I know. What have you been playing? Well, I, I have been texting you for like three weeks saying that I'm waiting for Wolfenstein, the new order to get here. I know. And it took, it took Gamefly about three weeks to get it to me, but I <laughs> finally got this game. Yeah. Um, and I have think? to say, I, I am really enjoying it. It, it got some bad reviews it from did? some of the, the bigger companies. Oh. You know, but, I've been trying not to read reviews because yeah. of that. So you're having fun though. Yeah, I like, I mean, the gameplay is fun. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the controllers are a little weird, like to like, uh, to dodge and like, yeah, move. what was it? You have to hold, a, hold LB, hold a think? button and then push another button and twirl around three times. I don't know. It's yeah. ridiculous. I don't I, even do it. It's just like, this is, well, I started doing a lot because those abilities that you unlock, mm-hmm. uh, one of them or some of them require you to like shoot from cover. Okay. Well, yeah. I must not get. I am only about two, two, three hours into the game, probably. Oh, okay. I I so. like it. Yeah. There's some, there's some fun stuff that happens. So. Yeah, I recorded it. I don't know if you saw it, but I, I had this group of guys, and it's, they were like in the door, like I don't know, six of them facing uh-huh. me, shooting me. Uh-huh. So I like chucked a grenade at these dudes. And then it just was a mess. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this game is over the top. Yeah. It's just, ugh. But yeah. the guns are awesome. Like, how you can dual wield the um, assault rifles. Oh, yeah. And the, that you is can do so much shotguns. fun. Dual wielding the knives. You can dual wield everything. Well, not everything. Not, not shotguns, though. Oh, you do shotguns. There's a, there's a gun you haven't gotten yet. Okay. Oh but, my gosh, I would love to do, do build the um, double barrel shotgun, which I haven't been able to, but that gun is so much fun. Yeah. I had a lot of fun with that game, and I know a lot of the, the GTG girls have had fun. Mm-hmm. Um, it it can get challenging. Yeah, so. there's been a few spots when I just die, 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 and mm-hmm. just have to like 
it has a little bit of stealth to it. Like I, I, a few of the maps I've tried to be pretty stealthy in, mm-hmm. and that's been a lot of fun too. Like just make it on the entire map and nobody finds you. It's just like you know, chucking knives to kill people silently. Yeah, I know. I like doing that, <laughs> and I like the story. Like the just the idea. Like what if the Nazis did win World I know. War Two? I know. I mean, maybe they would have robot dogs and crazy weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Red Skull to drop from the sky and come after me. Oh, uh, are you from, talking Marvel? From Captain America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, any other games you've been hitting around? I mean, we're kind of in a uh, gaming lull right now. No, just really been enjoying Wolfenstein. I have a few mobile games, but we'll chat about that later. Yeah. How about you? Um, I saw you playing EA Sports, the new UFC. How's that going? Oh, I, you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I really like it and I really hate it sometimes. Um, why do you, why do you hate it? Well, hate it is strong. The, I just want to say graphics are like gorgeous. Did you try the demo? No, I didn't, but I was watching oh, it on Twitch I've... and I just decided it wasn't the game for me. Uh, well, see, on Twitch, you don't really get the, the quality. Like, you should just download the demo and play it just to see it, even if you don't like it. You could just but I, I like, it. what I like about fighting games is, mm-hmm. like, pounding somebody. Oh, like, you? Yeah. And I don't see, at least, oh, no. me, like you, you said, it could have been the people person. I was watching, but these people are just rolling around on the ground. Oh, God. <laughs> well... I okay. I'm a huge Fight Night fan, and the people mm-hmm. that I think it's like EA Canada or something like that, but they made this game. So I was that's what hooked me because I've played every Fight Night game, and so when I play it, I actually play it more like a boxer than MMA. Like I really focus on the punching. And you just um. pound their faces, and you see blood flying, and like like you hit them in the side, and you can like see their like skin move like 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 you really hit them okay you've got to broadcast this okay. on twitch so i can watch good, you pound though. somebody and not somebody else roll around on the ground yeah but but so what what i don't like is what you're talking about the submission part which you know i don't really i'm gonna be honest i don't really watch um these fights on tv i've seen a couple which they're brutal uh, mm. but i'm too cheap i'm not gonna pay they're expensive i'll watch the free ones but you get down they get you down on the ground and you're doing the whole submission and then you have like this mini game and it it's just stupid i can't i don't know i can't really quite figure out exactly what i'm supposed to do and in I the like, mini game once they're yeah, in submission yeah well you're down on the ground and you're kind of hitting and it's not really going anywhere and then uh, this mini game pops up and it's like an octagon shape and you're pressing like up, down, left and right and trying to either, eh, I don't like that part. But if I could just knock them out, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I get I like to hear out, like somebody that like watches these yeah. fights and is really into them, you what know, they we, think of the game. Yeah. We know we might have to ask uh, Diamond, Diamond yes. Girl because she knows all about it. But anyways, is brutal zen. But like I said, uh, the the submission part to me ruins it. So yeah. I don't know oh, if they could have found boring. a better mechanic. Yeah, for that. But if you can play standing up before you get, I mean, it's I don't know. Sometimes a little awkward <laughs> watching the, the positions yeah. these uh, <laughs> fighters yeah, get in. Seem awkward. What I was watching was awkward. Yeah. I was like, so. <laughs> But, They're fighting, right? <laughs> but I mean, the only other thing I felt like was a little bit lacking was the character creation. I mean, yeah, it was kind of cool because I had some cool haircuts, but you can't make a, a female fighter, even though you can play. Hmm? You can play as a female, but you just can't create your own? You can play as the like the famous female fighters that they have in the game. But mm-hmm. like when you do your career, you cannot play as a woman. You have to play as a guy. So that's too bad. But hmm. I don't know. I, that's a bummer. In, 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 oh. the, in the customization, I expected more. Um, I thought they would use Connect, And you could scan in your face. Because like in the old Fight Night, you yeah. could use that, that little vision camera. Remember those? Yeah. And you could scan oh my in. Gosh. Oh, my God. I made a boy fighter out of my face. 
Uh-huh. And it was like, what? That's what I would look like if I was a hot, beefy boxer guy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, oh my gosh, are you, do you still have these images? I do. Like, it'd be hilarious because the graphics are probably so bad. And yeah, back they then are. you'd be like, I look awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I may have to post those funny pictures. I'll never forget that camera you mentioned. I'll never forget years ago, whenever it came out, was mm-hmm. well, probably eight years ago, you and Kelly texted me saying, like, we're getting Uno and it has oh. it supports the camera. We had so much and fun. I literally ran out, like, Right after getting that text message, <laughs> drove around trying to find this dang camera in Uno. Yeah, we played and, Uno with yeah. that camera. Oh, oh god! Oh, you want to hear about some fun nights playing Uno? Like oh. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, we. But had a that's lot a side fun. note. But yeah. just good times. <laughs> Anyways, if if anyone's interested in it, they're not sure. I say rent it, or wait for a really good deal. Yeah, I think I'll, I want to rent it and just check it out. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's something different. But yeah. I get mad sometimes. So you would you... I'm going to backtrack. Mm-hmm. Would you tell somebody to buy Wolfenstein? Mm. I think you said to, last time to rent it. Are, I still are you still on like the whole renting. renting? You know, I played it once. And if mm-hmm. I want to get all the achievements, I need to play it more. Mm-hmm. So if you're wanting all the achievements... I just say buy it on sale. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm cheap. I, I would say buy it on sale or rent it. Yeah. Anything. The only reason I would maybe pay, pay full price if I started streaming it, but yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah, I just for me it doesn't have the replay value. I enjoyed it a lot, but I yeah, don't, yeah, I don't think so. What What else you got going on? Any other games? Well, Zen, we had a blast last night. Oh yeah. Oh, playing Rise. Got you. So we were playing Rise. Uh, we were playing the, like, the multiplayer Gladiator Glad- Coliseum. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's just, like, the game, the mechanics are really simple. It's just, mm-hmm. like, hack and slash and block, you know, fight or the bad guys. But mm. you can, we can get, every now and then you can combine um, kills so that we're both working together to take down this bad dude. Yeah. And that is the best part. It's like it's so satisfying to do one of those dual like yeah, assassinations. <laughs> we yeah. I, I think we're going to try pretty soon to start streaming that here and there. Uh-huh. Like, you know, the game once you've played it, it was a good game. I I liked it. I know I really of- like I like the story. The graphics were amazing. Yeah. The multiplayer, the only downside is is that you can only have two people in this gladiator mode yeah it would be thing. fun to have a couple more and i don't know i could just see us having a lot of fun <laughs> yeah. it's probably one of my favorite games on the one right now really I, yeah i mean it, it did get old the whole it is your, your fighting mechanism was the same thing over and over again but it was about perfecting that right perfecting you can it get you some know crazy high combo scores but yeah it yeah and it's on sale right now. Um, games, oh, yeah. games with gold. Yeah, I think it's on sale for forty, and then yeah. the and, season pass is half off, so you can get it for ten dollars. Yeah, but and to, I don't know if it's worth forty dollars to be honest. The still. game. Yeah. Because yeah. like you and I, like we love playing the multiplayer. Yeah, but, but we don't we play it that much. Once but... or twice here, you know, a month. Yeah. I don't know, it's so hard. I enjoyed it, but, you know, it was very linear, and it didn't take that long to get through, so it very well could be a rental slash good deal type of game. Yeah. Did you hear about Crytek, the people behind Rise, what's happening with them? No. They're, I guess they're going through financial trouble, and it's rumored that they're either going to be closing, um... It's also rumor that a lot of the games have been canceled, including the second Rise. No, I was just thinking last night how much I fun know. we had. And I what just they read could that do today that oh. it's rumored that the second Rise has been canceled. Oh, you know, I bet Microsoft will do something because they will. There's a lot of potential in that game. Because that is a Microsoft yeah. Studios game. I bet they'll find a way. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, with this gaming, you know, summertime... You know, it's always kind of like a lull in the games. And mm-hmm. I've been going through and just trying to clean up. So then I 
you know, right after E3, I popped in my Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition into my 360. And I was like, I'm going to at least finish the, the story, the, the main campaign. Have you never finished it or did you oh, never no. finish it on the Anniversary Edition? On the Anniversary Edition, never finished. I didn't the- finish it on the Anniversary Edition either. Yeah, I did, you know, on the original you know i yeah a bunch of times but so <laughs> it was good and i noticed something that i hadn't noticed before so you know how like we never see master chief's face well in the very very you know this first halo at the very end um uh-huh. there's a scene you know and it's like winding up the little story and i've seen this a million times back in the day you know when it was the first one out and if the camera pans away and then there's the angle on the camera to where he's in this ship and you can only see him from like upper chest down and he mm-hmm. like pulls off his helmet and sets it next to him like a tease like back then i didn't know that we'd never see what he looks like and it was just funny that he took oh my helmet. gosh i thought like you were gonna have some kind of like huge thing like no. in, the, in the corner to the right you get a glimpse of his hairline no it was nothing that good <laughs> but, okay now i have the bug to go play that again yeah i i hit up a, a lot i've been playing a lot of defiance again you know the yeah, new season I, you're, started you're, oh so is it still is the game still playing off of yeah so what they yeah, what they oh. did is a couple weeks before the, the new season started, they mm-hmm. made like a, a, an episode that segued into the, the premiere. And they've really worked on the game and getting it to work again. Because for the longest time, I, I just refused because I was making me so mad. But yeah, it's been running good and been having fun with it. So I still well, got some I'm really surprised that they stuck to it. Because I remember when I played it for a little bit, I was like, there's no way that they're going to keep this up. Yeah, well, you know, actually, uh, it's already out on the PC, but starting, uh, I believe, like July 17th, they're going to make it free to play on the consoles. Oh. So you on your Xbox 360, you'll be able to download and play it for free. What? Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. So that'll bring that's a, yeah, that's really cool. new players, new life into it. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that'd be good for Bungie. I'm sure they're watching to see anything and everything that could possibly go wrong. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, there was a little article I read yesterday. I forget where. They said they are confident that they're going to launch without any major issues. They said that they've come up with problems, backups to those problems. So they're really confident. They said there will probably be little things. But they're confident that it's going to be a smooth launch. Oh, Yay. Well, Bungie, Bungie can do it. We love Bungie. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so now I, you have to, we have to set up a time and I have to jump back into Defiance. Yeah. And you have to take my new butt on a little drive around and show me what's going on because I still haven't gotten past the the bridge where oh, there's like this what? monster they on the bridge. now. They opened it. There's no, there's no big monster thing that's gonna zap you if you try to go to San Francisco. Good. I've been wanting to get there and I haven't because there's this dang <laughs> troll or something with a laser on its head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. So Zen, it's totally switching topics. Okay. Okay. You know, we're all excited about the Halo, the Master Chief Collection, right? Coming out. Mm-hmm. So did you see this? It's a rumor of a Call of Duty Modern Warfare collection. Have you heard about this? Yes. And I think I'm with you that it it is probably false. I think it's fake. Yeah, like on but Reddit. How amazing. I know. They posted Maybe a picture. Maybe it is on... true. I mean, no, well, there's no way they would have they would have announced that at E3. Yeah, I just can't. And they wouldn't want to compete against events uh, warfare. I mean, because yeah, according to this picture, which I can post it on the uh, show notes, it's saying it comes out November 25th of this year. Mm-hmm. And it would be, you'd get Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3. And that it would be only for the PS4 and Xbox One. And that you'd get improved textures, better lighting, blah, blah, blah. 
60 frames per second, you know, all the things you want to hear. Um, they didn't talk about multiplayer modes and they said that you would get access to exclusive content by purchasing advanced warfare. I don't know. It, it would be so cool. Um, mainly just because I want to play some of the maps. I don't even care about the campaign. Like Halo, exactly. I care about the campaign in the maps. Yeah. Call oh, of Duty, man. I just wanted the maps. Yeah. <laughs> we had so many like Rust. Mm-hmm. Um, Nuke Town. Nuke Town. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Supa and Shadow. They love Creek. Yay. Um, what was the <laughs> other map? I Oh, uh, what was that one I liked? Um, ship Shipment. Oh, that is good. And if uh, you guys have a favorite map, tweet it at us because I'd be interested to see. Yeah, tweet us your favorite Call of Duty map. What is it? That, yeah, and if that's it, uh, Girl Tribe. Girl Tribe Game, Girl Gaming. Tribe Gaming. Don't forget the gaming. I know, I know. <laughs> I, always, I bet it's fake. Surely it's, if it was real, they would announce it by now. Yeah, it's fake. Let's not get our hopes up. Yeah. And let's just celebrate Halo. Yeah. We don't have time for that many games. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> so Zen, I always love hearing what you're doing on your mobile, your mobile gaming. What do you? Well, I was actually like out of games and I was looking, trying to find something new mm -hmm. and not having any luck. So I shot a tweet out being like, hey, give me some, you know, suggestions on what to yeah. try here. And I got, I don't know, probably six games to try out. So oh. I'm still... I'll have more games next time we record. Uh -huh. But um, Bunny, one of the GTG girls, oh. told me about Hungry Shark Evolution. And um, the word shark caught me. Yeah, I know how you are with sharks. <laughs> yeah, I hate them, but I love them at the same time. Yeah. And it's just a silly game of a shark. And you just swim around and you're eating stuff and trying to discover stuff in the ocean and staying away from bombs and jellyfish and other sharks. So you um, are a shark. I am a shark. Oh. Yes. My first thing I did once I started the game up, I was like, boring, eating fish. I'm going to go find a human. And sure <laughs> enough, I get to the surface and there's just some woman swimming uh -huh. around, you know. <laughs> so who knows so, what she's doing out in the middle of the ocean. So what's but the object of the game? I think it's just to, you eat know, stuff? eat stuff. Oh. To stay alive. And, you get points? And you get points. I've only played it for a little bit, but... Mm. And you, you have, like, different things you have to collect, and you can upgrade your shark, like, have a laser on its head. A laser? After, I know. After I saw that, I was like, okay, I have to at least get the laser before I put this this game down. Oh, man. Uh, another game that was suggested was by uh, Domino's Pizza. Pizza! She had, yeah, she had multiple games that I have to work my way through because she was, like, throwing game after game after game. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it was called, the one i trying right now is called Rivals Knights. And it's with um, two knights and they're jousting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's all about, it's all about timing. It's super simple. Super um, simple is usually best. Yeah, for, I was playing on my phone, so it worked great on that. And the more you win, the more points you get. And you can upgrade your armor. So, and I just like the, gra the graphics look like uh, in Infinity Blade. One of my favorite games. Oh, so. yeah. You, you and, always talk about that game. I know. I love knights. I love playing as a knight. Just uh -huh. about as much as I love playing as like a gladiator or a Spartan. <laughs> so it's just something that I like. <laughs> um, well, hey. <laughs> so, though, yeah, those were two simple games. Both free. I They're both free right now, at least. And hmm. there's a whole other list of games that some other guys sent on Twitter that I, had, I bought them both and i just have to try them out so yeah i'll give a little update on those next time how about you any um playing anything on that windows phone of yours oh i am still trying to finish my last two achievements on sims free play we won't even talk about it, it okay it is yeah me I when i finish things. you will know and i will go on and on about it probably <laughs> okay but, good luck okay but then I what have, is it what is the achievement i'm just curious like um build one of a them, house and have a baby or something now i already did that a million times no it's whoa i have to get baby <laughs> well, you know something funny actually did happen uh so they added a new feature to the the windows phone version of it and now my sims age and the thing is is that i had like a whole town 
full uh-huh. of, you know, adults. Well, uh, they're all aging at exactly the same rate. Now, oh my, gosh. my entire Sim City thing here is full of uh, old people. So, <laughs> oh, you like, take a screenshot. Do they have like wheelchairs and? No, but they're like walking pain. all slow and they're. All- Do they look wrinkly? Um, I don't think it's too much detail in them now. Oh they my gosh, this hair. is destroying my vision. Yeah. It, I want to see old people in wheelchairs. But like one of my old people, she's still wearing the headphones that my other one was wearing. So she looks funny. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like got this oh. whole town of old people now. Can no. they go like get Botox? Botox. Get younger? <laughs> Can they reverse their aging in any way uh, or are they to, just going to die? They're <gasps> going to die. You have to pay they, to keep them alive. Of course. So they die and then are they like dead Sims re- laying around? I'm going to have to repopulate. I got this Grim Reaper. He's just floating around. He's ready. To d- I think they're all going to die in the next day or so. Okay, wait. It's now a- I'm kind of interested. When a Sim dies, is it laying in the street dead? No. <laughs> and then the Grim Reaper floats over and like like an alien ship he and kind of takes them away? over and he does a little something and then they poof and they die. They're gone. <gasps> so they're not dead? They like on- float okay. away or something like a ghost. Wow. Okay. I haven't only I've only seen one die in my game. Huh. Man, so. people gotta see what's in my head, and then mm. make that into Sims, and it would be well. The crazy. computer game is way better. Okay. You know, on the phone, they can only do so much. But... Okay, I'm sorry, I got off okay. track because I was just whoa. Well, you know me. Okay, so I'm afraid of bugs. I if even one even touches me, I'm like, get mm-hmm. it off, you know. Okay, so mm-hmm. and I. I remember you telling me not too long ago that you got bit in the eye by a mosquito. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so, you know, I'm messing around with my phone yesterday. I, maybe you already know what this is. I stumbled upon a mosquito app. An anti-mosquito app. Oh, bull. Oh, no. It's true. So I downloaded that mug right away. So here's the deal. I don't want to test it out too much because I'm afraid of getting the bugs on me anyways. Oh, great. So you're sending me out yeah. into the woods with this app to protect me. So next time you're on the woods, I want you to go down. I don't, I'm sure they have them on iPhone. On Windows phone, the app I have is called Anti-Mosquito with an exclamation point. And you have different frequencies and it puts out a sound that's supposed to repel the mosquitoes. Oh my god! I don't know. Anyone. I don't believe that it works. I okay. So there was our front door, uh, kind of is right next to the wetlands, and so there's a lot of mosquitoes right there. And so a lot of times in the evening, if you open the door and close it, a mosquito will get in. And so last night, I panicked. I saw it. I turned my app on, and I was holding my phone at it, and he was oh just sitting gosh. there like, "Whatever, lady." Okay, so, I found there is one on my phone. Okay, I want you to test it I'm, out. I'm and downloading come it back right and, now and tell us because it is like it is a perfect day to go out there and test this because it's it's rain is coming in. Mm-hmm. It's getting dark and mosquitoes everywhere. Are everywhere. Ooh. So you never heard of it? No, and if I get bit in the eye again, not the eye, but like the lower eyelid. Oh my god! Again. When I'm out there with this dang app, I will lit seriously fly out to Seattle and punch <laughs> you in the face so you get a black eye too. <laughs> oh man! So that is interesting. Now yeah. I, want, I just want something to keep snakes away from me. It's like me. not gaming related, but I sure think it's a geeky way to fight your insects, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess other people, you try it too if you're like surrounded by, by mosquitoes and let get, us know. If you get bit, it's <laughs> not our fault. We didn't make the app. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I can't believe it works. I don't, we're going to see. I'm going to test this out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm excited to hear about it. So. Okay. All right. So Zen, uh, any cool TV movies, anything like that you're doing? Uh. Well, we watched Ender's Game. That came out a while ago, but that, that movie had me thinking about um, how awesome it would be if we got called as gamers mm-hmm. to help save the world. That's what this Ender's Game... I haven't. I didn't read the book, but I the, it read was it for school. Awesome. You did? Yeah, I had to read it for school. Well, did your geeky self like it, or did you just more so dwell on the fact you had to read words? Uh, 
Well, so my my only issue was the uh, the writer of the book was kind of homophobic. So oh, well, kinda, I didn't know that. It put me in a mood that made me not want to read it. But I well, think I liked the book, and you know, trying to be objective. <laughs> but I don't remember. It was, it's been a while. I read it like three years ago. Well, now I hate the movie now too. <laughs> That's why I didn't go see it, but... Mm. Well, the mm. movie, it wasn't that great of a movie, but I like the idea of... Yeah. Of, like, almost people that are good at video games and and um, thinking of tactical... Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, um, this one friend of ours who's not a gamer, mm. um, but she, you know, she watches a lot of sci-fi and zombie stuff. She said to me uh, the other day, she's like, okay... So you guys game. She's talking to me and two of the other girls from the Girl Tribe Gaming. And she says, now, because you guys game and you do all these things, do you feel like if we had our zombie apocalypse, do you feel as though you would be more prepared? Could you just pick up a gun and do it? And <laughs> would you know what to do otherwise? And, uh, and uh, I, I feel like I would. Okay. I want you to fly out to Michigan. I'm uh -huh. going to hand you a gun and say, <laughs> load this gun. Okay. I'm going to lay out a bunch of bullets, a bunch of guns. Okay. And be like, Get, go. Well, first I will. Like, okay. Dress up like a zombie. Mm hmm And oh, Kevlar. We paintball. Okay, paintball. That would be fun. You know, That's good I, I would just have to watch a quick YouTube video before the power goes out on how there to load a gun. There is no YouTube when there's zombies. I have to hurry. I'll be like, let me look at this real quick. Yeah, a zombie coming at you. One, one second, just one, second, one, one second. I have shot, I one have second. shot a shotgun yeah. before in real life. I think it does help in some senses. I was really good. My dad was impressed. My stepbrother, <laughs> he could not hit one thing. And finally, they were shooting those clay. What are they called? Those clay things? Clay pigeons. Yeah, those. They were shooting those in the air. I was hitting almost all of them. Isn't We're, that fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I feel like I would be prepared. I think it helps. It would help. It will at least get you in the right... I mean, we've played a lot of zombie games. Mm -hmm. We know what a zombie looks like. We... Why do we always end up back on zombies? I don't know. We need a new zombie game. Yeah. Mm. I want to play that Outlast that's out on Xbox One. It's not zombies. Yeah, but. get that. That looks. I want you to stream that. That'd be hilarious because you'd be so scared. Oh yeah, I would stream that in the dark, and I'm. Sure <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We just said that you would do great in a real world situation <laughs> against zombies, but against in this video game, <laughs> you would be terrified. <laughs> yeah, I probably. I'm. Re I'm very easily scared. Like, how much is that game? Fifteen bucks? No, it's Outlast? twenty. It's twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Twenty and twenty on Xbox, free on PlayStation. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, but I don't know. You should get it. Mm. Um, when we're still on movies and whatnot, did mm. you watch the new Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 trailer? No. It's good. It's like a it's like a promo that uh, President Snow's giving. I don't know. Super I simple, but still like, oh, it gets you so pissed because, you know, President Snow is so dirty. I'm not a very. I I've seen Hunger Games, but I'm not real with it. Oh boo! It. What about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? What about them? The new trailer. Did you watch that? <gasps> no. Is it a movie? What? What? I don't know what it is. What? The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Apparently movie coming I'm out under a shell. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Uh Nice pun under oh. a shell. <gasps> oh. yeah, <I'm> <laughs> um, it's by the guy that did Transformers. Who's that? Michael Michael Bay. I don't know. <laughs> it might not be the right name, but uh, I don't. It, it looks interesting. Sounds good. The take on the turtles. Yeah. Um, it looks really transformy ish. Transform. So I don't really know. I don't know. Sometimes the turtles look like they could be, you know, transformer. So the, are like, they all like CGI? Yeah, huh. and April is Megan Fox, which oh, okay. I'm not a big fan of Megan Fox. So I don't have feelings. when she's happy, when she's sad, when she's scared, her face looks exactly the same to me. 
it's like there's no emotion happening yeah in her face maybe she's had too much botox maybe <clears throat> but so yeah what about you are you watching anything well you know defiant defiance i love that show season two um mm-hmm. and then uh orphan black just had its season finale last week i love that show it just really good up- finale or yeah yeah you need to watch it there's just two seasons really watch it i know i've just been watching just weird documentaries lately about magic so i'm sorry (laughs) no i like that kind of stuff (laughs) no i watched a new show um it's on the sci-fi channel it was on right after defiance last week and it's called dominion and i think it's gonna have some potential possibly it's uh Mm -hmm. Without saying too much, and I don't know if I'll get it just right, but basically in the show they say 25 years ago, basically God like left the angels and the Mm. angels blamed the humans. And so then uh, the angels began like killing the humans and then because they want to get God back. And so there's like all these bad angels for wanting to get rid of the humans there's one good angel and he's like protecting them. And then there's different levels of angels and the lower leveled ones, they actually go in and like possess the human bodies and use them. So are they Creepy. bad? Yeah, they're bad. The angels are bad. They're, they're all bad except the well, one? Except for the one. And then there's like this chosen baby that's going to like save everybody. But it, it's got, it it's interesting good uh effects it has little sci-fi in it a little creepy scariness to those angels are kind of grody man the okay ones i gotta watch the it sounds i, I yeah. if i can stream it somewhere on online i'll watch it okay yeah it's called dominion it's just had one episode so hmm. i think cool. it has potential i'm curious to see where they go with it very cool um so I got my scuff 3D paddles in and installed yeah. those guys. How are they? Uh, good. I really, I really like them. They help me a lot because my I have smaller hands, so now my hand head doesn't have to rotate around the the grip uh, that much. So I'm no longer having that issue. You can knife me that even I was having easier. Before. Yeah, I, now I can really knife the heck out of you when you run around. Oh, yeah, you're but, tearing um, me up. <laughs> so so yeah, I really. It's a little change that made, for me, a big difference. Oh, so are they, like, angled or... Mm-hmm. They have, I... a, like, a slight angle, so it's almost like they're going up the grip just a little bit. Okay. So it's a lot easier to hit the paddle. I gotcha. It was easy before, but now it's just super easy. And oh. I adjusted my trigger stops, finally. Oh. Adjusted them more. Did you tighten them up a little? Mm-hmm. What is so now it's, it's, like, almost like a hair trigger well yeah like you just barely have to add pressure yeah so Uh, i'm loving loving that so i am still grooving on my scuff controller and you just got your cinch controller in so oh my god yeah my cinch gaming controller i got it like two days ago so i haven't had a a lot of time with it but like zen right out of the box well you know i called you yesterday or monday whatever yeah, I, I thought there was something you. wrong. I called I you in like, a panic. You left a voicemail like, call me back, call me back. <laughs> like, what <laughs> is going on? <laughs> All I had done, I opened it up. I saw it. I got I got a green mat, just so you know. It was green mat on the front and the back with a green mm-hmm. LED. And uh, I picked it up. I put it in my hands and I instantly knew it was for me. And I was just so excited. And I was oh like, my gosh, I that's it, funny. I know. I was like, I hope it works as good as it feels, you know. But, uh, so the big difference between a cinch controller and a scuff is that instead of having paddles on the back, you actually have a little button. And my concern was, where will this button hit, you know, in, you know, compared to where I grip it normally? How it's big com- is the button? Is It's it- little. It's like... Sm- uh, it might even be a little bit smaller than a pencil eraser head. So is it like, I don't even know, like on the Xbox One controller, it used to be your start and your select buttons. Is it like that size of button? Um, let me look. I have it right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's about that okay. size. Okay. Um, so 
Uh, and I'm going to get a video up soon um, showing all the angles of it and everything. But mm. uh, the trigger the trigger stops feel really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, now, on the scuff, you know, you have to take that little corner panel off to get in to uh, adjust it. Yeah. Well, it's different is on the, uh, the top of the back of the controller, kind of near the trigger up on the back, though. There's like a little screw that comes out and then they put like a little rubber cap on it. And at first you're like, yeah, it looks kind of ugly. Then I was like, oh, that's where I adjust my triggers. So, so I you can, don't have to take off your grip? Yeah, I don't have to, I don't have to take that off. Okay, that's nice because yeah. on the scuff, when you, you have to take off the grips. Mm-hmm. And when you're taking those things off. Oh, the it's sound. terrible noise. I'm like, I am going to bust this expensive controller i know it sounds like you're just breaking it yeah it's like and even when you put it back on it's just like it sounds like bones cracking yeah it's not a good sound but so yeah, that, i like that easy. that you don't have to take anything apart i haven't as I, long as, it, it does, as long as you're not risking on hitting something and moving your trigger stops when you're no. playing no because you uh it has a little screw and then you pull off that little rubber cap and then you mm-hmm. have an Allen wrench and then you just, you know, put it in there and adjust it. So it's not like something you could bump and mess up. Okay. Um, and then the buttons, like I like I, I said to someone else, everybody's hands are different sizes and everyone holds their controller a little bit differently. But for me, it was perfect. Like my my uh, my ring finger, it mm. hits it it, it it is like almost on the button but not touching it so i could fully grip the controller like at full pressure not press the button but it's just like literally like one or two millimeters of nice. moving my finger to click the button is how's the is it painted or is it molded plastic because the scuff the scuff i have a white um top plate uh-huh. that is painted is it matte or is it it's a painted white gloss. mat. Okay. Well, you know, I ordered the green mat, and as far as I can tell, I swear it's molded plastic. I can't, it does not look like it's painted, but I thought they mm. painted them. If they did, they did an amazing job. I can't find any flaws in it like you would a paint job. Yeah, mine, it looks like it's molded plastic, mm-hmm. but when you pop those grips off, I can see that it's oh, not molded. Well, it's when- not- I can see like the the seams and like when I pu- pop off the battery, the battery uh, ca- uh, cover, mm-hmm. um, it looks like like the plastic looks green through and through. Interesting. So I really like that. And um, I got the domed thumbsticks. I think that might have been my only mistake. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, that's interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking because my my thumb always gets sore. Uh-huh. And so I thought, well, this would be easier on the thumbs. Uh, I, if I, I wish I just would have went with the stock concave, not even mess with anything special. Yeah, I, I wish I like. I wish I would have tried a domed for my right analog. So yeah, I don't well, know. Just give the, it some time, and who yeah. knows? You might like it by the end. You might be like, I love domed analog <sighs> sticks. Well, the domed on these is smaller than the domed on scuff. Okay. Hmm. So you have less. It. I. You know. I haven't touched a PlayStation controller since PlayStation Two, mm. but it feels to me just like I remember a PlayStation thumbstick. Oh. Okay. Oh. So I don't know. I. I I'm either going to give it some try. I think I just need to give it some time. But yeah. Give it some time. I mean, you've only had. It's going to take a yeah. couple of weeks just to reprogram your brain. I know. But... I know. I've only knifed one guy using that button because you know my under buttons are different i well i play inverted for one Mm -hmm. and then the layout i use my left thumbstick is run and my b button is melee so my under buttons are now jump and melee yeah that's what mine are oh you have it that way a lot of people have it where uh b is their drop and and that so I don't know. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm lying. Mine is mine is jump and drop. Yeah. Okay. And melee is my right analog. You click in on it. Yeah. Yeah. See, mine's B button. So. 
Hmm. I can't wait to go to a knife fight with you. But anyhow, I'm going right. to I'll keep trying these out and I'll give an update to see if, if I still love it as much. But um, very cool. I did sign up to be a sponsor with Cinch Gaming. So if you would like to get a controller, you just go to cinchgaming.com. And if you use my code, you get 5% off. And the code is easy. It's MOTO, M-O-T-O. So use the code, get 5%. Give me some. Yeah points to some other things <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing your video on it all so. yeah yeah I'll definitely get that done well awesome i think we're all set yeah is that everything? on this episode ending episode 10 yeah achievement so, i wish we had a little thank you get the little sound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big thanks to everybody that's been listening and yeah helping us get to episode 10 um so yeah, that's it. Uh, you can. <laughs> We're not ending this episode we too are strong, <laughs> um, but yeah, big thank you. You can follow myself on Twitter at z mcleod. That's z m a c l e o d. You can follow Jen on Twitter at Moto Girl. That's m o t o underscore g r r l. And you can check out our website at girltribegaming.com. And we are on Twitter at Girl Tribe Gaming, all one word. And thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.